Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today, we held a historic meeting of the Appropriations Committee in which the full committee uh, met uh, to discuss the veterans' uh, backlog. We've been very concerned as a committee uh, on the over 800 pending claims, and many of them have been, pro, um, been in existence for more than 125 days. 226 of them have a backlog of more than a year. The, the leadership of this endeavor has been led by Senator Tim Johnson and Senator Mark Kirk, uh, who chair the VA MILCON subcommittee. And I would like to salute them for their steadfast work in trying to crack the backlog. But as the full committee chair, I wanted to get everybody in the same room at the same time to talk about what is exactly required from the Department of Defense, from the Social Security Administration, and from the Internal Revenue Service so to get the bureaucracy moving, so we can get the claims process moving, and that we not only are spending more money, but we are actually shrinking the backlog. It has been six years since the Dole Shalala Commission that came out of the Walter Reed uh, scandal that called for a seamless transmission for veterans, and particularly between DOD and VA. We heard robust conversation today. We had a vigorous bipartisan participation, and we think we have a path, a path forward. What we want to do is ask our leadership at these agencies to be insistent with their bureaucracy so that they meet the needs that VA does to adjudicate these claims. And the subcommittee chairman and vice chairman, Johnson and Kirk, we're gonna be in, we ask them to be insistent and they're gonna be persistent to make sure that this happens. We're on the brink of Memorial Day. Many people will salute our veterans. We want to salute our veterans, not only with words, but with deeds. And we think one of the most important deeds is that you should not have to stand in line for more than a year if you have a disability claims pending with the Veterans Administration. Now, the IRS and Social Security have upped their game in terms of complying to get the information to get to uh, VA. Up until six months ago, IRS only reported to VA twice a year in terms of all of this information. And it was often dated, it was certainly late, so we went from dated into delayed that they're going to do this every single week. Social Security, too, is also improving itself. But then we come to DOD. I'm going to ask Secretary Hagel to talk about what he is doing to make sure we do two things. Get from DOD to VA what they need, and also for there to be electronic systems developed so there are no techno boondoggles. What we've also agreed upon is that each agency, particularly DOD, has identified a high-level person whose sole fo focus is on this problem. Secretary Hagel has so designated that person. We look forward to working with that person. They have been now meeting frequently, and they're going to do that every 60 days. The committee is going to insist on metrics of accountability where we get reports every two, every two months as well. The, my predecessor, Senator Inouye, and also Senator Stevens, uh, worked very hard to help these uh, agencies. We have spent a great deal of money uh, over the years, often to the tunes of billions of dollars. But we not only want to spend money, we want to stop wasting time to make sure that we move this backlog forward. 